This is a quick tutorial on how to download Apple Maps tiles, satellite tiles, uh, and combine them to use as an overlay for tracing in Inkscape or uh, in Unity. So I have a, a folder here, uh, in my case called Tutorial, but there's just a couple of files. The only uh, important one right now is combine.py, which is a script that I wrote to combine uh, Apple Maps tile uh, satellite images. And then a down.sh file, which is just empty right now. See, zero bytes. That's where we're going to put our uh, curl commands a little later to download our Apple Maps tile data. And just a clean script that uh, helps me clean up this folder for the tutorial. So I have this folder open in a terminal. And I also have it open as a project in Visual Studio Code. Uh, with my combine.py file open and my empty down.sh file open also and ready to go. So following uh, the instructions that I have at the beginning of the combine.py file, we're going to go to DuckDuckGo and find the course that we want to get the uh, satellite images from. And then we'll click on Maps to load up the map data. And we want to have our browser window show as many tile data, as much tile data as possible. So we're actually going to zoom our browser out, not the map itself, don't use these buttons at the bottom right. We're going to um, go here, and uh, this is Edge, but Chrome is exactly the same. Hit the minus button, or if you have a Mac, uh, Command minus, or Windows Control minus should accomplish the same thing. And we're going to zoom out as far as it will let us uh, so that we'll display as many tiles on screen as we can. I've also hit my favorite bar um, just to make things a little bit larger. We can hide the sidebar over on the left here. And then we're actually going to uh, zoom in about as far as we can. And now we need to get uh, all of the web requests that Chrome or Edge is making. So we're going to right click and go to Inspect. I'll bring up the Elements Inspector, and we need to go to Network. And as soon as we're on this tab, it's going to start uh, grabbing network requests. So we need to now clear out our browser cache. Oh, I don't know what happened. I'll refresh this. There we go. I'm going to zoom back in pretty far uh, in the maps, but my browser uh, is still zooming out to 25%. Now I'm going to right click on the refresh button and do a hard refresh or you can see the shortcut on the Mac is shift command R or shift control R in Windows. And that'll clear out our cache and then we are going to come here and uh, hit the clear button to remove the history of our network requests because we don't care about this tile data. And we will make sure that we're still recording. Um, that the record button is red and there's a stop in the middle of it. And then we will click the very small satellite button over on the left here. And we want to make sure that we're zoomed in as far as possible. Um, you can click the plus at the very bottom right, even though it's tiny. And we are. <clears throat> and now we're just going to move our map around until we get the entirety of our course. You can see all the tiles loading as we do that. So hopefully that is everything. And then we will stop our recording. And then we'll come down and right click on any one of the uh, requests down here and say copy, copy all as curl. And we're going to paste that into our down.sh file. And uh, I can see we have uh, 100,000 lines. So um, sometimes Visual Studio struggles a little bit with uh, larger files. You might use a different uh, thing. Sometimes like I'd use Sublime Text. 
Anyway, following the uh, instructions in the combine.py file, we're going to run a couple search and replaces with regex enabled. So on this down.sh file, I'm going to search for curl and replace it with curl o j. Come over to our down.sh file and make sure regex is enabled and search replace all. That'll tell curl to download these files with their original names. And then we will also do a search and replace for semicolon dollar sign, find semicolons at the end of lines, and replace them with an ampersand. And go back to our down.sh, search replace all, and that'll put an ampersand at the end of each of these curl commands so that they can um, get started and then pushed into the background so they can all basically run at once. Otherwise, you might be waiting around for an hour or two while all of these requests uh, complete synchronously. So we're going to save this down at sh file, and then we're going to open up our terminal in the same folder. We're going to chmod plus x our down at sh file to make sure it's executable, and then we are going to run it. And while that's running, I will open up uh, find your window here so you can see our downloads and we already have 1500 items. So the larger your course and the more you have to scroll around the more requests you're going to have and the longer this process is going to take. And if you want to see how many total requests that you're going to have, you can go back over to Edge and see down here that we are, uh, looks like, going to download 8,900 or so uh, files. All right, we're done. The script, the download sh script, is finished running. Uh, there's no X at the bottom of it, so uh, we can just enter to get back to a prompt. And. Uh, 6,500 items or 6,400 items. A lot of those are probably duplicate requests or cached requests in the browser. So now we are ready to run our Python script to uh, combine the necessary elements into a final map. So we'll go back to combine.py in Visual Studio Code. We're going to use the Jupyter built-in interpreter. Um, that lets me run these nice little uh, cells, I think they're called. So I'm on a Mac. I did a brew install Python 3. I did a brew, ins uh, sorry, pip 3 install pillow to uh, get uh, the PIL library here. And also I installed image magic, which is a brew install image magic for me. But this should be uh, possible to do in Windows or Linux. So I am going to do a shift enter in my top cell to do my imports. And then the next cell is going to generate a, a blank image for missing tiles. So we probably will have missing tiles. It's not a perfectly square image that we're going to create. And now we're going to get a list of all of the uh, pertinent files in the directory and add them to a list here. And then we are going to rename or copy actually uh, with, a, with a better name the files we care about. See over here on the right, that's going to take a second. If we go over to our finder, we can see that we now have all of these files named with their just Y and X coordinates uh, for montage to merge later. And get our list of rows and columns. And finally, we're going to do the combination where it's going to make each row of uh, images. And then finally, it's going to combine all of the rows into a result.jpg. And we'll get in the console out here a list of the missing uh, images that are going to be white. And we're done. So if we go back over to our finder, we'll find our result.jpg. And there it is, worked pretty well.